Good day, and welcome to this presentation of Shop Boss Pro, creating a new repair order. In this video presentation, you will learn how to create a new repair order for an existing customer. Additional videos are available showing how to add a new customer and create the RO. To begin, we start at our work in process or WIP screen. Click on the new RO button at the top. The lower half of the screen will present you with a list of customers to choose from. Let's start with an existing customer. In the search box, begin typing the last name of the customer you wish to find. As you type, the list will begin to filter to the customers that match what you are typing. When you find the customer you are looking for, click the Repair Order button for that customer. Next, you will see the customer information and a list of vehicles the customer has brought into your shop before. You can now create a new RO for that customer and their vehicle by clicking on Create RO. Note, if you want to change any customer or vehicle information, you can do so here. Your changes will be saved automatically. Next, you will be presented with a list of vehicle issues for you to choose from. We have created a list of the most common reasons people bring their vehicles to a shop. Add each issue for this vehicle by clicking on the issue in the right. It will be added to the issue boxes on the left. You can also add new issues to the list or you can simply type into a box to add the issue. Once you've added all of your issues, click on the Add Issues bu button at the bottom. Now you are taken to the Repair Order screen. Here you will see the customer and vehicle information, as well as the vehicle issues you entered. Please note a few things about the Repair Order screen. Miles in and out. Each repair order should have the mileage in and out entered. The status. Status is very important in Shop Boss, as it helps to determine the flow of work in the shop. The statuses available are inspection, approval, parts, assembly, queue check or quality check, final, and closed. Once a repair order is closed, no more changes may be made to that repair order until it is reopened. Comments. These are comments about this repair order and are displayed on the printed repair order. Writer, source, and RO type. The writer is who wrote the repair order. Source is what brought them to the shop for advertising evaluation. And type is used to determine the type of RO. Please note, you can change the RO types in the settings area, but leave the type called no approval. If a customer declines to have any work done, changing the RO type to no approval removes it from the work in process without impacting your totals and averages in reports. Next, we'll add a labor item and a part to the repair order. For the vehicle issue, brakes are grinding, click on the labor button. Next, add the description you want, such as replace front brake pads. Next, enter the number of labor hours you are charging and select a technician to assign that job to. Your hourly rate should already be present and the total amount for this labor operation is calculated automatically. Click on add labor to save it. If you click on save and add another, this item will be saved and you will return to this screen to add another labor item. Next, we'll add a part. Click on the parts button. Now you will see the parts registry. The parts registry includes all parts that you may have in stock as well as all parts that you have ever put on a vehicle. If you enter your parts in a generic fashion, you can reuse the part over and over and simply change your cost and retail price. As your list grows, you can use the filter and search feature to shrink your list to the item you are looking for. You can search by part number or description. For this demonstration, we'll search by part description, looking for brake pads. As we type brake pads into the search box, the list begins to filter down to only those items that match our search criteria. Now we click on the part number, brake pads. The next screen shows us the last information that was saved for this customer. We can change any information we like. Let's change the cost for this part to $35. As we move to the next field, the price will cal be calculated automatically based on the part category. This is a feature of our parts price matrix, which is covered in depth in another video. For now, we'll accept the calculated price. Let's assume this is a good customer, so we'll give them a 10% discount on this part. Enter the percentage discount. As you do, 
you'll see the actual dollar amount of the discount appear to the right. So a 10% discount yields a discount amount of $7.88. We are now ready to add this part to the repair order. Again, if we want to add more parts, click on Save and Add Another. Back on the RO screen, you will see that we have added a part and labor item to correct the brake grinding issue. Note that the text, the brakes make a grinding noise when stopping, is now white. This is because we have added parts and or labor to address this concern. The second issue, the brake lights are not working properly, is still in yellow, cautioning you that you have not addressed this issue yet. Now, let's change the status of the RO to approval. Save the RO and go back to the whip list. As we save our changes, we get a pop-up window. This occurs anytime you change the status of the repair order and offers you the opportunity to notify the customer via text message or email of the status change. You can select send text message, send email update, send both, or don't send. Sending text messages and emails requires that you have the correct information in the customer screen. This concludes our presentation of creating a repair order. For more information, please watch additional videos or give us a call for a quick 10-minute presentation of the main functions of ShopBoss Pro.